It was photos my mom had given me of my friends and I just like skateboarding. I had totally forgotten about the actual moment where it took place where she took the photos and she just handed me like a bunch of them. It was the first time I was like, oh cool, like documenting something. And I think soon after that I bought a camera. I just started documenting my friends like skating. And I think that's like when I really got interested in it. My name's Aaron Winia. I do photography for a living and I'm from Toronto. For me, I just like the memories, and that's how I saw photography originally, was just documenting my friends and whoever was around me at the time. A lot of my photography is definitely spontaneous. That's why I use a lot of smaller point and shoots. I kind of just have like a bag that I just like throw like a little point and shoot in or something. Because it's small, like people don't really see it. Because when you break out a camera in front of people, sometimes people start to stiff up and get weird. And I kind of just like to break it out when I'm gonna take the shot. So I grew up skateboarding, right? And like skaters have eyes for skate spots and we tend to see a lot of stuff that other people don't see, like a set of stairs or a handrail or something. I feel like the same relates to like photography where I feel like I'm constantly like looking for things. And I feel like a lot of people don't really see that and maybe they do and they just don't really care, but I like love shooting that stuff. I'm definitely always pushing myself and I can never do enough and I always look at my website and I just think I could be doing so much more. I'm trying to get out of my like comfort zone, putting myself in like weird situations where I wouldn't normally have access to, like I really love those kind of jobs. A lot of my personal work can be pretty intimate in like a pretty wholesome, candid way. Really like up close, fun portraits. If I take a portrait of someone, I think it's pretty true to them. I'm really into things looking natural. And I definitely use post-production, but I like to keep it pretty true looking. It's nice to have something going on in front of you and just having it be authentic.